What's going on people, Mickey here and welcome back to episode 28 of my Taskman series. So today we are starting off by obtaining the four titles from Kanem who is located in Draenor Jow and obviously you can see we're in beginner, the last task and the leaderboards ain't back yet so yeah let's try get 20 likes in this video and I'll be back with you once I'm at Draenor Jow. We're at Kanem now who is stuck inside the Draenor Jow. So let's get the first one. You are now known as other than so that's the first title, and we need to go through that dialogue another four times. So I'll be back once we're at the end of that. So this should be the last task we need yeah. to task. What I'm talking about, um, what are they called? Oh, what are they called? It's gone. My mind's gone blank. Title. That's the one. So that should be the last title. So we've got the Enforcer, Artful Dodger, the Don and the swindler so that is task complete so let's go to the website now and let's complete that last beginner task and we're back in easy now so let's generate our easy task and we get obtain a unique piece of split bark equipment which we still need a few more bits so yeah let's go kill some more ravenous goals the first kill down here we get the split bark gaunt gauntlets that's what i like to see 1kc and a quick task so let's go Back to the website and let's select the gauntlets and complete the task up to 73%. Let's generate something new and we get upgrade your material storage to store a total of 30 different materials. We actually have the cronuts already, so this is going to be a nice and quick one as well. So, yeah, let's go to the archaeology guild and complete this one quickly at the art guild now. So, let's talk to Ezreal to what we need to buy which is the material storage upgrade and obviously you can see we've got 19k cronuts so yeah let's buy this there we go and that is task complete so back to the website we go and let's complete this task and generate something new and we get hand claws the, sh the chef a cave wolf matriarch skull skull can be attained by completion of the canelium rising quest have we done that Mm, I don't think we have so it looks like we're going to, have to do a bit of questing before we complete this one but yeah let's get into that now so we just completed Hazel Cult and that is a uh, quest we need to do to start Canelium Rising but for some reason the quest guide shows a bit more to the quest than actually is needed because as you can see let's go to uh, Hazel Cult Obviously, it gave us our quest one as well, so that is quest complete. But yeah, it's just a weird one. I think that needs to be updated. But yeah, let's start and complete Carnelian Rising. There we have Carnelian Rising complete. Do we got a construction level? Let's quickly loot this chest as well. Uh, what do we want? I guess we we'll take the planks, banks, banks. There's a chest and the two lamps. So I'm guessing now we've got to go kill that wolf again to get his skull. Then we can hand it into the chef and that will be task complete. So yeah, let's go kill the wolf now. Here I am defeating the wolf. So let's pick up its skull and then we'll go back to the chef now. So that fight there, that could actually be quite hard if you're under leveled and under geared. But yeah, hopefully this just yeah, skips us straight back to the chef. So let's hand this skull into him and we should get an achievement. All the dialogue. Um, what do we want? Pure essence, flax, dragon scale, dust. And oh, no, we definitely want unicorn horn. So we'll take that. And there is our achievement, and that is task complete. So back to the website we go, and let's complete the task and generate something new. And we get obtain a unique from the cave or unspeakable horrors. And this is going to be the mask, isn't it? So hopefully, we don't go dry on this because. These ain't my. F Do you know what? We can actually kill. Yeah, I think we might actually kill the normal ones now because they drop the. They and they. A lot of what am I saying? They only drop the black mask, and we don't need the scare tactic anymore. So yeah, I think I'll just kill the normal cave horrors. So yeah, let's get onto that now. There we have seventy-eight defense coming in, and no combat level, but we killed uh, around one hundred and eighty. But yeah let's just carry on 
There we have 77 HP coming in. Still no combat. But uh, what are we up to now? Uh, 450 away from that. About 550 and still no mask. But hopefully we get it soon because we're just over the drop rate. So yeah, let's just carry on. There we have our black mask. So let's quickly loot all this. Loot all. And let's get out of here. There we go. So what did we get that on? Let's quickly check our drops. 736. Let's just say around 750. Or well, 800 actually. So yeah, let's go to the website. Here we are. 800. Black mask 10. And let's complete this task. Generate something new. And we get obtain a unique from the dungeon shop. Oh yes, I couldn't wait for this task. So what can we actually get? Uh, we're probably going to go for scroll of life because that seems the most useful out of all of them. So yeah, let's go do some dunge. We already have enough tokens for the scroll of life. So let's quickly just buy it. Yes. And let's use it. So there we go. We can now have a chance of getting seeds back when we're farming. So back on the website. Here we go. Select scroll of life and let's complete that task. Generate something new and we get obtain a unique from a slayer once inside demon lab. So yeah, back to dunge. And yeah, I actually look forward to these dunge stars. So let's get into it. There we have 61 dunge coming in and we still have got no unique. 79 defense coming in and we also get 103 combat level. So slowly getting up there, but we're carrying on this dungeoneering grind and hopefully we get a unique soon. There is 62 duns coming in. Finally, there is our next unique, which is the Sorcerer's Boots. Level 54. Let's actually bind them. And that is task complete. So let's go to back to the website. And Sorcerer Boots. And let's complete the task. Generate something new. And we get upgrade your Matok precision. So hopefully we have 8k notes left because I sent a 24 hour research team out so we might have to do a little bit of arc but maybe not so yeah let's go to the arc guild and see if we have enough let's check Ezreal to see how many notes we have ah we actually do not have enough so we need to get 2100 more so let's quickly check what collection we should complete I'm thinking it's Zamoraki in one in it because that's our highest one we can complete uh, Zerosian, yep. Zamorakian, have we done Ceradomen? No, so yeah. Looks like we're going to have to complete Zamorakian 1 again to try to get 2100 Chrono. So yeah, let's get into doing some arc. 50 arc incoming. So now let's go back to the guild and upgrade our Matok to the Rune one. So we run up here to Matiok and buy our Rune Matok. So that's a nice little upgrade there. Add that to our tool belt. Uh, yeah, we'll probably just out that one. But yeah, let's carry on. We're going to start restoring some artifacts now and see if we can get to that 2100 crow notes that we need. So while visiting Anachronia to collect some orphan glass, I've actually just realized we have completed three passive tasks. So the town hall, storehouse and sleeping quarters. So let's quickly go to the website. Here we are, as you can see, Town Hall Tier 3, we do have that, so let's complete that. Complete. Then let's go to the Storehouse, if it shows up. There we go, complete that as well. And then finally the Sleeping Quarters. Complete that. And if we go to the Dashboard now, 17 out of 15 passes, we can officially pass through to Medium Tier. But yeah, let's get this orphan glass and restore this last artifact. Then we should be done with this task. This should be the last artifact we need to um, give to Volusia. So let's contribute it. Oh no, I don't think it is. Wow, 23 left. Rip. Now we should definitely have enough Cronuts once we contribute all of these artifacts. So there we go, a complete 
collection and let's add that to our currency pouch and we've got 11k now so let's go to Ezreal and buy our map precision upgrade and that will be task complete so yeah that's correct one confirm and there we have our task complete so let's go to the website here we go let's complete it and we will generate something new and we get construct and add three unique species to your menagerie of your player owned house I don't know if I'm saying that right but oak pet house and oak pet feeder require you to own a house and construction layer for we've already got that so this should be quite quick this is going to be the end of episode 28 so if you did enjoy it please leave a like and subscribe for more R3 content we did start this episode off on 73% and we're up to 77% now obviously the leaderboards ain't back yet so yeah I think they're working on a new website or something so something's going on with that but yeah uh, yeah hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope to see you in the next video